Good morning. Good morning, Crossroads. How many of y'all feel brand new this morning? Yeah. All right. You can have, you can have a seat. How many of y'all feel kind of new? Kind of new. There's parts of me that feel uh, new. There's kind of some parts of me that feel a little expired. <laughs> Outdated. <laughs> You know, uh, uh, things come and go in life. We, you know, we, we, you get to you get to have a little bit uh, ten or twenty minutes in life. You get to see things come and go, and all kinds of different ideas and ideals and ideal uh, uh, ideologies and uh, fads and patterns and uh, people come up with things. And uh, there's just the 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 transitions in different seasons. It's kind of interesting because. Uh, we get different people in positions of authority and everybody thinks they're, do, they're doing something new or they're doing something different. And it's kind of like the recycled way of things that have been always done. Or it, it, what, What's so different about this? And so there's, there's one thing that remains consistent. And uh, scripture, scripture talks about this consistency that is related to God's character. Uh, it, it, regardless of whatever inconsistencies happen in this world, regardless of whatever instabilities that may happen, or, or whatever changes that, that, that go on, whatever someone says one minute and then they change their mind the next, and it was this this minute, now it's this the next minute. This is what God says, and it's interesting that this is this portion of Scripture, it is out of a book, uh, that the title, even the title of this book, is in a, um, a period of Israel's life when they're in mourning, uh, when they're in desperation, um, uh, when they, they, they are in, in a spirit of sorrow. <laughs> they have a cloud over their heads. But yet, this is what it says here. Regardless of whatever, wherever you are in life, whether you have a cloud, whether you feel like a new creation, uh, or maybe you don't feel so new, and maybe parts of you feel like, gosh, I'm just weary. Here's what God says. He says this. This is a, a Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. Because of the Lord's great love, we, that's you and me, that's all of us, we are not consumed for his compassions. They never fail. They never fail. Never. They are new every morning. Watch this. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. They are new every morning. His compassions never fail because of his great love for each and every one of us. People make decisions all the time. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have love for us. They may have love for themselves. They may have love for their pocketbooks. Uh, they may have love for their agenda, uh, for their ideology, for their political position. There's only one person that makes decisions. And when he makes them, he makes them for our benefit. And that's God. Because of his great love for us, his compassion never fails, and we are never a people without hope. Y'all receive it this morning, church? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Great is your faithfulness, right? Can, we, can, can you do that, Peter? Great is your faithfulness. Great is Yeah, amen. All right, let's go ahead and buy hands in prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, we thank you for this wonderful Sunday. We look forward to what you have in store for us, Lord. We thank you for your faithfulness, your compassion, and your unending love for us, Lord God. We ask for your blessings on each and every household here, Heavenly Father. We look forward to what you have in store for us this service. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. You are welcome. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. We pray this in the name of Jesus and all the God's people say. Amen. Amen. This one's kind of a new one. New hymn in the church. It's only about 200 years old. Um, but it's a real big hit. Amazing Grace, how sweet to say.
working on a mansion.